Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, we need to do a market outlook video. Take a look at the market this week for the rest of Bundesliga team of the season. Take a look at what could be coming out and what has already come out. Kind of talk through some of those things and possibly what we could see in the next upcoming week. So really quickly, I wanna cover what came out today on Sunday. We got the Liga Nos Guarantee SBC, which was basically free again, 81 rated squads, 70 chemistry, very, very easy to complete. And you obviously have a chance to pack one of these cards right here. Obviously, Militao, Jao Felix, and Bruno Fernandes, and Alex Tellas being the most desirable cards out of this bunch. I, of course, got the 87 rated Greek goalkeeper, which I'm sure a lot of you guys did as well. Um, but we're going to get another SBC just like this later in the week for the Bundesliga. So I'll, in a minute here, I want to take a look back at this SBC, but I want to look at Leon Goretzka first. Now, I don't, I haven't seen a dynamic image for this card, but this is a card that I do think I'm going to complete. Um, if we go on Footbin right now and check the price of this SBC, it is a nutty card, but it is going to run you kind of a steep price. 530,000 coins, and it did cause some of the higher rated golds to jump up in price today. Now, my ability to, to, to complete this SBC, and the only way I will complete it, is if we do get Bundesliga upgrade packs. I will be obviously packing some guys from the Bundesliga, um, and I will be wanting to complete this SBC. I think it is five. You need an 87 rated squad, an 86 rated squad, an 85. So basically an 83, four, five, six, and seven rated squads for this card with a couple extra team of the week players thrown in, two team of the week players. Um, and some high rated. So if you think about the Bundesliga, you can pack a decent amount of high rated cards from upgrades, you know, like Thiago, um, Muller doesn't have a team of the season card, even like Boateng um, and, and a Neuer as well. I mean, if you pack one of those cards, it's going to make this SBC a lot easier. So getting a repeatable Bundesliga upgrade SBC would definitely make me want to complete this SBC and possibly even the Muller SBC if I do enough of those packs to get a lot of untradeable high rated. I'll be working on that Goretzka before he goes out of packs in four days. And I would strongly recommend you guys do that as well if you would want that card in your team. That's one way you can kind of work towards him. As I do think we are going to get the upgrade packs today on Monday. Hopefully they drop them on Monday. It would just make sense. Um, last week, obviously with Premier League, we didn't get them until way later in the week. Hopefully we get them earlier this week um, for that. But speaking of SBCs, I want to look at this Liga Nos SBC again. It came out yesterday, so you guys have probably already done it. If you haven't, I highly recommend going and doing it because you get a chance at a another TOTS card for basically free. And obviously this is the squad that you're going to be looking at getting with this SBC. One of these players, probably a lot of people are packing, you know, some of these lower rated, but I want to take a look at, and this is going to happen on Tuesday, and I'm kind of going to prepare you guys for this. We saw it last week with the Bundesliga. We saw it today with some of these cards from the Liga Nos. Um, excuse me, we saw it last week with Premier League. We're going to see it this week with Bundesliga on Tuesday, and that's what I want to prepare you guys for. So Eder Militao, 745 on Xbox, 773 on PlayStation. Look what happened today before the graph, uh, before the SBC came out, 719,000 coins. So basically what happens is early in the morning, people sell off the cards uh, in leading up to the SBC. People sell off the cards. They get rid of them out of their club because they know that SBC is coming and they think they're going to pack one from the SBC. Militao goes down to 719 right after the SBC comes out. He goes back up to 794, 796 on Xbox, and he has since dipped down, but on PS, he did a similar thing. On PS, he went down to 7, uh, 715. Wow, he went even lower on PS. 715, 713, and he boomed back up to 794 as well. So that is a trend that there, we are going to want to keep our eyes on um, and keep watch for on Tuesday when the Bundesliga guaranteed team of the season SBC comes out, especially for guys like Royce, Jovic, Havertz, uh, Werner, Witzel, even some of these middle tier guys like DaCosta. What we're going to do on Tuesday is look to buy some of these cards. If you want some of these Bundesliga cards for your team, I'll talk about this later in the week as we get closer to that date as well. Um, but 
watch these cards because they're going to be panic sold leading up to the SBC. And last week with the Premier League, the cheapest point for all of the uh, team of the season cards when they were in packs was actually on Tuesday when that SBC came out because people bought up cards after that SBC that they didn't get. And then obviously with Thursday rewards, the market just flew and went up even higher and higher um, because of that. So watch these cards this week. If you have any of them that you want to get in your team, maybe the Royce, the Havertz, Brandt, or Sancho, Da Costa maybe, um, watch those very carefully because I do think you're going to see a lot of market movements around those cards this week. Um, but again, thinking through the rest of the week, what could we see this week in FIFA Ultimate Team? Um, basically just another week of team of the season, maybe a couple more SBCs, another TOTS SBC. I guess we've already had two. We've already had the Goretzka. We've already had the TA. So we'll have the guaranteed SBC. Um, I don't want to, don't really know what else we'll have in the midweek. If they'll throw in a, uh, Liga Nos player SBC, that is possible. I guess they threw out a Giliano before for last week for the Saudi league. So maybe we'll get a Liga Nos um, maybe another player from Porto or Benfica as the SBC player at some point this week. That's something to watch for. Um, but then again, we're just hoping for the upgrade packs. One outside chance that I think we could see this week is maybe some Champions League content towards the end of the week. I know that is not the main focus right now, but this Saturday, it's about five days away. Um, that is when the UCL final will be played the Champions League final between Spurs and Liverpool. So, you know, a really safe, risk-free option is, again, just to go over here to Footbin, check on the cheapest players by rating, and take a look at some of these UCL rare cards. Apply the filter and take a look at some of the cheapest cards by this rating because, you know, it doesn't ever hurt to go and stock a few of these cards. They haven't had supply in a while. Maybe that's something that we will see this week. We'll have UCL marquee matchups possibly, but we haven't had any games that are on the weekends for Champions League yet. They've all been midweek so far this year until the final. So I will be interested to see how much Champions League hype gets introduced um, with this. But basically, just take some time, go on the market, look at some of the cheapest 83 rateds. Um, and honestly, what you can do is to find some of these cards really cheap and on bid is to just go in here on the market, search specialty or quality special, minimum price, let's go 600, max price, let's go for an 83 rated player, let's say 2K. And you can honestly just sift through a few of these first pages. There was an 81 rated player right there, an 81. And you might find an 83 that somebody listed on open bid that you would be able to add to your transfer targets and possibly get a deal on. That's one thing you can always do to, you know, to even trade a little bit. These cards are often forgotten about. They're probably still good to flip right now in this market where everything is high. Um, the usable players that are UCL uh, rare cards are probably, probably decent ones to flip. But again, maybe stock your club with a couple 83s. Don't go overboard. A couple 84s. Mata for 8K. That's very cheap. If you look at this graph right here, an 84 rated yeah, see, seven, nine thousand coins. He's been thirteen k, and now he's eight k. Yeah, that'd be a good, uh, a good thing to probably pick up on this week. Just pick up a couple, throw them in your club. Don't go crazy on it because we don't know what's going to be um, coming out. But I do imagine that there will be some type of Champions League content since it is the final. Um, maybe they were, will release another team in packs here in a couple weeks after the team of the season promo. Maybe they'll throw an SBC or two at us. We will see. Um, but one last thing I wanted to talk about is a lot of you guys were asking when is going to be the best time to buy some of these Premier League TOTS cards that are out of packs now. There was a pretty big weekend league sell-off this weekend. I've been watching a lot of them. Salah and, and some of these cards have dipped very, very considerably. Even Hazard, 2.88 million coins. If you see on the weekend, he was being bought well over 3 mil almost all weekend. 3.1 and now he's 2.8. I mean, that's that's a big time increase. Salah was like 2 3, 2 4 at one point in the weekend. I do remember seeing that. And I saw one today sell for under 2 million coins on a bid. I think I had that on my transfer list. Even Aubameyang was 2.8 2 something um, today. And a lot of these cards have really dipped down in price. And that's one interesting thing I think you guys might want to keep your. Just keep a watch out for it. Even some of these primer icons are a little bit low. Eusebio at 5 million flat is a little bit lower. 
I don't know how much lower these guys are going to drop. So keep watching these Premier League TOTS cards throughout the week. And I think your buy time for them might again be before Weekend League Rewards on Wednesday before people go out and they buy their teams and they put together hybrid squads that they could possibly make with some Bundesliga TOTS cards and with some Premier League TOTS cards uh, because these cards are still very, very hyped in the game. Everybody is all about team of the seasons. If you, I mean, I've been playing foot champs this weekend, my first weekend in a long time playing champs, and almost every team has either the red picks or team of the season cards in general. That's just the that's just what everybody is wanting to use right now. So definitely get out there and look for the deals on some of these cards midweek. You know, this might be the best time to buy the Sunday night sell-off for some of these cards. Um, but I do think most people are going to be interested in trying out some of the Bundesliga cards throughout the week. And I think you need Bundesliga cards to to work on these objectives. Maybe not. Liga Nose players, German players, Belgian players. So you don't really need the those players to do weekly objectives, but it is an option. Um, and then again, for Thursday flips, we're probably going to look at some Bundesliga players and Premier League players, both again for Thursday flipping this week just because the hype this week is on the Bundesliga. A lot of people are going to be making hybrid squads, so we're going to look at strong links to team of the season players and all kinds of stuff like that here in the upcoming week. Hopefully it's a good week for FIFA Ultimate Team. The packs aren't selling out. I saw it, I seen it on the weekend. A lot of the lightning rounds did not sell out this weekend, so hopefully EA is seeing that, wanting to deliver some nice content for us. That would be, that would be very, very Nice. But if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. That's your market outlook for this week. Peace out.